Welcome to this iMindMap 11 tutorial all about organisational charts. So we're here in the iMindMap home screen and I'm going to click organisational chart to enter the view. To begin I'm going to double click to edit the name of my central idea. I can hit tab on my keyboard to jump down to the subtitle and hit enter when I'm done. I can click plus icon there and double click on my new node and continue inserting text. Click to add another one, double click, tab and enter. So I've continued to build on my business plan by adding nodes to my org chart. Now from here, I'd like to show you the pop-up edit menu. Now clicking on the node that you want to start with, you're given a few quick options um, to customization tools. So you've got title and subtitle. These will simply allow you to update the text in the node. Color will change the color of anything that falls below the node. So if I change that to blue, We'll then select this one and change that to purple. You can see that everything below has changed colour to purple. If I go back up to here, now layout will toggle that between a horizontal and a linear layout. Now a linear will run down the screen a little bit more there, so it depends on what suits your project best. Connect is really useful for drawing relationships. So once I click connect, I'm carrying this over and clicking on the node it relates to. And you can do that from anywhere. So you click and click again. Now these relationship arrows are a really nice indicator of any nodes that are connected and you can see that straight away from looking at your project. This collapse tool will collapse any nodes underneath the top one and you can toggle it to expand on those again. So it's just a good way of saving space and helping you keep your project focused and clutter free. The insert options, so from here you can add an image, an attachment, so any of these, audio, email, file, folder, iMyMap Cloud or web link, notes or tags. I'm gonna show you how to insert an image so click to select and it will call up your image library. So here you can search for a relevant image and add that in. You can choose from your own images from your local library or you can add an emoji. So the other thing that I'm going to show you in terms of inserting is the notes option here. So once you're in here you can type in your notes, click off it and if I zoom in you'll be able to see the note icon here, click it and there's your note. So it just means that any extra text you want to add remains hidden until it's needed. Again, keeping your visuals clutter-free and nice and focused. So hopefully this tutorial has given you the skills you need to get started and get the most out of org chart view. Head over to our YouTube channel now for more iMindMap tutorials.